So last night I ran into a solution for a problem that has been playing me and I know many others for quite a while that is super annoying. Um, and I don't know if this is a, a problem that has a well-known solution and I just haven't found it before, but as I hadn't known about it, I thought I'd share with others. So if you're looking at a model with this a normal zoom, um, the textures look fine on, on most models, but there's always this issue that as you start backing up and zooming in, the textures, especially on areas where two textures are really close to overlapping, start getting some weird artifacting and overlapping that can end up getting a little bit into the creepy range. And it's not just like in terms of the the like the pony models or any other models, it's just anything um, starts having this issue. And so I started looking into last night and found out kind of what the solution is uh, to get rid of that. It's actually super easy. So if you go to your camera and you right click it, go to show an element viewer and then to camera, there's just one little value here, and this is your Z near. And so your Z near and your Z far are kind of telling the camera as to what range to even load anything into. Um, so it's saying to go up to 28,300, blah, 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 so far, but it has a minimum range too. So if you actually increase this value, so I'm gonna go to my active camera here. If I increase this value, probably not gonna notice too much of a change right now. But now if, so when I uh, moved my work camera, uh, if you hold control and click uh, your main camera, it'll copy to your camera. If I start backing up here, you'll notice that the issue is uh, kind of went away. <laughs> um, if you're doing a super zoom, like wham, um, you you might have to increase this a bit more. So let's go to 300 and let's get back to copying it here. So, and you can see that that issue is now no longer happening. Uh, that is super nice. The difficult part is is the Z near by increasing that you're technically increase or creating a cutoff range. That's why now I do not see the model anymore because if I as I back up here, she'll actually come into existence. Um, and that is because she's at that 300 range where uh, they no longer are loaded. Um, that's really creepy. Anyways, so that it does get rid of that issue. So if you do have that artifacting issue around the edges of different models because of textures that are too close, um, again, open up uh, your element viewer for your camera and just increase the Z near and, uh, and problem solved. <laughs> um, I am so happy right now. <laughs> uh, anyways, yep, that, just wanted to give a short one here. So uh, thanks for watching.